Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be one of the longer videos that I probably have put out, out on my channel for a very long time. And that is because I am doing my end of year favorites. If you are a subscriber of mine for quite some time now, you will know that every single year, at the end of the year, I put out what my favorite products are for like that year. So <laughs> these are all the products that I've used almost every single day for... The entire year of 2018. Hold on, my cat's getting into something. All right, now that I got beans settled down, in this mix I have lifestyle products, I have hair products, skincare, fragrance, makeup, everything under the sun. So this is going to be a long video, but I promise it's going to be good. So go get yourself a drink, go get yourself a snack, and if you want to see the products I have been living off of for this past year. Keep on watching. All right, so my cat now decided to join me after making a fiasco in the bathroom. She's present. All right, so I want to start off with hair products first. Now, um, because obviously I have extensions, you can see <laughs> that's my real hair. Sorry, not sorry. This product right here I have lived off of since the summertime. I actually have had this shampoo since before I got my extensions, and then I have been living off of it since then. The Cleared Up Detox Shampoo from Colorproof is seriously a lifesaver for me. Now that I have my extensions in, I wash my hair probably twice a week, and in that time, I'm using a lot of dry shampoo, I'm using a lot of hairspray, I'm using a lot of heat protector, I'm using tons of hair products. And if you've ever felt like your hair is just like yucky and like feels like there's a coating on it, that's probably because there is. Not a lot of people know that when you're using tons of like hydrating shampoos and conditioners, but you're also using tons of hairspray and other products like dry shampoo, that moisture just locks everything in. This is a detox. So basically this strips everything out. The great thing about the Colorproof one is it does not strip out color. This will not lift your color out of your hair. It will just take all the gunk and gross stuff out of it. I use this all the time and I still have like this much left of it, okay? So you only need as much of the as big as the logo is. That's all you need. So it's a little pricey for a shampoo. It's like $34, but seriously amazing. The next product that I'm going to talk about is the Borrego. I don't still don't know how to pronounce the brand. I'm so sorry, but I love you guys. Um, and this is a blow dry perfection and heat protection cream. I'm going to put all of these products down below in the description just so you guys can like see what it is and you can actually see like how the word is spelled because you're, you know, and this bitch doesn't know how to pronounce shit. But this is a blow dry perfection and heat protection cream so what I do when I wash my hair is I put like dime size amount of this in my palms rub it throughout my hands and then literally just distribute it all throughout my hair this makes it so that when I round brush my hair dry I don't have to worry about like damaging my hair from heat this is a great protector it makes my hair feel so nice moisturizes it and everything so this is definitely a great product if you don't already use a heat protector. The next hair product is none other than the wet brush. This brush is seriously the only thing I brush my hair with. Like, the only thing besides when I blow dry it with my round brush. I'm obsessed with this. It does not damage your hair. It does not rip out your hair. When you get out of the shower and your hair looks like a hot mess because you just washed it, this will detangle it. And I just can't, it's a brush. I get it, it's a brush. You can go and like pick this up at a beauty store or CVS. It's not expensive, but it is amazing. So if you do not have a wet brush already and you notice that your brush is pulling out more hair than it should, gotta get yourself one of these. And then the last hair product is so stupid but so important and that is this hair tie. Um, these are called Invisibobble I think is what the brand is. I can't, it's Invisibobble, I think that's how you say it. But 
Anywho, so I always thought that these looked like it would be a disaster. Like these are going to be the worst thing you could ever put in your hair next to a rubber band. Like that's what I thought of these when I saw it because I was like, girlfriend, my hair is going to get tangled in there. I already have thin hair. I don't need that. But this has changed my life. So literally you can put your hair, one, if you do high ponytails, okay, if you do high ponies, this gives you the support that you need. This holds your hair like nothing else. So as you can see, it's kind of like worked in to my hair. I don't know how to really explain it. Um, it doesn't pinch the hair. It just kind of like holds it there. This, because it has these little wobbles in here, it will leave your hair. So when I take this out, I don't have that line in my hair. Um, I have used this when I go to the gym in the morning, I'll throw my hair up and then I'll go home, won't wash it, dry shampoo, and it's good to go. My curls always stay in with this thing. Um, honestly, the best hair tie. They're not that expensive. They usually come in packs of three. Again, you can pick this up at CVS, local beauty store, anything. It's nothing crazy. It's just a really, really great product. Now, let's do fragrances because there's only two. So, the two fragrances that I picked up the most this year is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. This perfume is beautiful. Um, it smells so good. So feminine. Strong, but not overbearing. It's that really good medium scent um, where it's going to last hours. You're going to smell it on yourself for hours, and then people are going to smell it on you longer. Like... It just smells so feminine, not too floral, which is why, like, I know it's called Daisy. You think you're going to smell like a field of flowers. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're going to smell like an elegant bitch, okay? And that is what this perfume is. The next perfume is my all-time favorite fragrance. I own this in body wash. I own this in a travel size. I am obsessed with this fragrance, and that is... Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. This fragrance is unlike any other. It just smells so like, oh my god, you smell like a rich bitch. It just smells so good. Like, I cannot, I can't even explain it. Like, I genuinely can't. It smells so light, but not, like, light. You know what I mean? Like, it's not overbearing. But it's just this light feminine fragrance and it smells unbelievable. So if you ever have a chance to pick up either one of these fragrances, these are the two fragrances that I'm like obsessed with. Let's do skincare next. Alrighty, first one is, this is the line that we carry at my job. Um, this is the face wash I recommend to every single one of my clients who get lash extensions. So it doesn't matter if you have dry skin, oily skin, normal, combination, problematic, it don't matter. This works for everyone. And it is called Orange You Jelly Cleanser by Sorella Apothecary. Now, when my clients come in and they're like, what oil-free face wash should I get? I'm like, well, we carry this. I'm not trying to sell you this just because you know, I can, I'm trying to tell you buy this because you will not regret it. This is one of those gel, like foaming, no, I don't want to say foaming, but one of those gel cleansers that give, gives you bubbles, but it does not dry your skin out. This is a outstanding product. It is, like I said, oil free. It says leaving your skin clean and hydrated and it does. This is gluten free. This is paraben sulfate free and cruelty free. So I do want to say that if you want to check out their website, they do have one. The only reason I mention that is because not a lot of um, people know this brand because it's more of a professional brand than like a commercial brand. So there is that. All right. Now the next two products that I believe that I have for skincare are both from Fresh. So the first one that I'm going to start with is the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. When I first saw this, I was like, that is beautiful and I need it. Yes, this is beautiful packaging. There's actual like rose petals inside of it, which makes it look even prettier. But besides that, it's a great product. Um, I use this after I wash my face with 
the orangey jelly cleanser. I put this on a Q-tip, not Q-tip, on a cotton pad. <laughs> Q-tip would take a very long time. And then I rub it all over my face and tone my skin. Unbelievable. Makes my skin feel amazing. Some days I'm like, I don't even need a moisturizer, although I do, but your skin just feels so hydrated and so clean. And I have seen nothing but good results from my skin since I started using this. This is definitely something I'm going to rebuy. As you can see, I am almost out of it, but obsessed. The next product is the Fresh Seaberry Skin Nutrition Cleansing Oil. This, I have, like, I can probably take off my makeup today and tomorrow. And then we are done so with this. Good thing I already bought another bottle. I tried other face oils to take my makeup off with. And after using this, I don't even wanna I don't even wanna look at it. I don't even wanna touch it. I don't even wanna breathe the same air as it because nothing can compare to this. I'm not even being exaggerating, like I'm not, because this is a $42 product and I was like, mm-hmm, mm hmm Well, I'm gonna try and find something for $15 because the amount of time and like times I use it and how much I go through it, I'm like, I'm not gonna keep spending $42. No, I am. This makes my skin feel so freaking amazing. Everything, I put a couple pumps in my hand, rub it all over my face, everything melts off, rinse my face, orange jelly, tone with my rose water after it. I am a fresh, clean bitch after this. I'm obsessed. This is probably, if I can recommend anything to you and you do not have lash extensions, I repeat, do not have lash extensions, you're looking for a new makeup remover, this is the one for you. I'm just going to do my lifestyle products next. I don't even know why I'm calling them lifestyle because when you see them, you're going to be like, bitch. But if I have any way to describe them, that's what they are. Let me shut up and tell you about them. So I've definitely talked about this in a monthly favorites before. This is my Beaker water bottle, BKR water bottle. I got this from, well, the website's mybkr.com if you want to look at all their styles that they have. I purchased this one from Sephora. I bought this about a year ago, and I am obsessed. Right, so the reason that I'm obsessed with this is because I'm somebody that drinks a lot of water. I don't really drink soda or tea, things like that. Um, I really only mostly drink coffee and water. So when I go somewhere or like I'm going to work, I'm going on an adventure, I like to have water with me. Instead of buying plastic bottles that you just, you know, throw away the whole plastic drama. This is made with recycled glass. This is recycled rubber from tires. Okay. Um, so freaking cute. Right, this is the only thing I've had to replace because I've dropped it so many times. This has not broken one bit. Does not look like I've dropped it at all. This is the only thing that I've had to replace and it's like $14 because the top cracked. Um, but I would like to say that's pretty good. Um, this was, I forget how much it is. I think it was $55 for this water bottle. But they make many different colors, many different styles, super cute. Um, I definitely think it's worth it for myself because I know myself and I know how I am and how much I drink water and how much I take like water with me to work. Other people might think this is a load of crap, so it doesn't even matter. But if you are looking for a good investment in a nice water bottle because you yourself also like to take water with you everywhere, check out Beaker. Other than coffee and water, your girl really enjoys champagne. Now, I'm going to look back on this video, hopefully in like 10 years, when I am a wealthy, hardworking woman, and I can afford more than $14 champagne. But for the meantime, we are balling on a budget. And let me tell you, this is the most awarded sparkling wine brand and that is Barefoot Bubbly, okay? And you can never go wrong with some Barefoot Bubbly. Barefoot Bubbly is what starts the party, okay? And if you are of age to drink alcohol, I highly recommend Barefoot Bubbly Peach Champagne, okay? 
I, if I have a drink of choice, that is either plain champagne or mimosas. Those are my two favorite things of alcohol to consume. They're the same exact thing, one just has orange juice. But if you like something tropical, you can take this peach champagne and you can mix it with, I don't know what it is. Turkey Hell has like this like fruit punch, tropical punch, whatever. You can mix it with this and you can make yourself a mimosa 2.0 or you can take this and mix it with regular orange juice. This goes down like water is all I gotta say. In the most responsible way possible, this goes down like water, all right? Um, yes, it is $13. Usually you can get it on sale for $10. I did, and they were having an extra sale at the liquor store. So I got this for $7, okay? Fuck the Ulta Rewards point system and me getting hype about that. This is a savings that I am here for. All right, now that we got that out of our system, let's move on to makeup. This is going to be the longest video I've ever made, and I apologize. Let's do some palettes, okay? My favorite palettes that I've used this year, one of these, two of these, have been old palettes from the past, and I'll just do those first, and then the other two are, like, new palettes. So, Rider Dies for this year, again, Modern Renaissance. Now, mine, although it is used and abused, the one in my makeup kit is destroyed. So the majority of my clients, I use this or the Jaclyn Hill palette on them. But I always reach for this because everybody, unless they want cool tone colors, everybody that says I want warm, I pick this up. You can never go wrong with this palette because you're always going to... They're always going to blend well. They're always going to look good. You're always going to have a great color scheme. You're always going to get the payoff you want. This is never going to go wrong for you. So that's why this, again, is one of my favorite, favorite products. Not so much to use on myself, but to use on all of my clients because they all look like models when we're done. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Now the reason that I picked this palette as one of my favorites for the year I know it doesn't look like it's been used a lot, but it has been. Um, it's because when I'm traveling somewhere and I know I'm just going to have to get ready really quick and I don't want to do a lot of makeup, this is what I bring. This is the palette that I pick up when I'm rushing to go to work and I need to throw an eyeshadow. Like, this is just the palette for somebody that loves basic eye looks. Because you have your cool smoky, you have your neutral, you have your warm. Everything you could want in this, and I'm just obsessed with it. Kat Von D shadows have never let me down as of yet. Um, and this is definitely one that has never let me down. So that is why this is my favorite for 2018. New Anastasia palette that has become one of my favorite used palettes of the year is the Soft Glam palette. I know we got the Norvina palette this year as well, but I have not picked that up that often. This is one that I travel with. This is one that I pick up daily when I have a little bit more time to get ready in the morning, but I'm like, all right, we're doing warm tones today. This palette is it's great. I don't know what else really to say about it. Um, it has great payoff, great pigmentation, blends amazingly. It's literally the same as Modern Renaissance, just neutral colors, and that is why I love it. And then, last but not least for the palette section, some of you may argue with me about this, others may agree with me, and that is the Ring of the Alarm Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault Collection. This palette is everything that I live, breathe, and die for. Um, warm tones. I love Jaclyn Hill. I'm sorry if you don't. I love her. And I think she is a hardworking person. And I think she did an amazing job with the Vault Collection. I decided that this is one of my favorite palettes of 2018. I love the color scheme. I think it is gorgeous. I love that they even made the Vault Collection because I really enjoy my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I think that, you know, the more the merrier. So that is why this earned a place in my 2018 favorite. The next product that is one of my faves is the Blush Kit in Radiant. 
The reason that this is one of my favorite products for 2018, I was not a blush person before this year, okay? This you can get tons of payout with or you can just get a little bit of color. Does not matter. This is great for my skin tone. They have another one for deeper, darker complexions that also looks beautiful as well. Um, based on the formulation itself, I love it. Um, I think... I just think it complements my skin very, very well. Everybody I've used it on really likes it. Um, and yeah, I can't find anything to complain about. And I am now just realizing that I did not take the mirror cover off. And this is embarrassing. On to the next Anastasia product because I'm obsessed. Um, it is the Amrezy um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight. That's what I have on right now. That is what I wear almost every single day. I wear this highlight because I never was one that could find a good gold highlight because this is like gold gold to me. Like this is gold. I was never one that could find a good gold highlight because I'm so fair it would show up dirty on my skin. When you would look straight at me you would see just it would look almost brown right here. This blends in so seamlessly with my skin with my complexion that it just looks so good. It's blinding you don't need a ton of it. Um, it I mean, you can still see like the ripples in the pan, but it doesn't look like I used and abused this as much as I did. I'm obsessed. I'm so glad they brought it back. I think everybody should have this in their collection, whether you are fair, medium, or deep. It does not matter. It is amazing. Next highlighter that is for my pale gals out there, okay? I'm talking to you. Ofra. Glazed Donuts Nikki Tutorials. I have to say nothing more. Go buy it. I'm pausing for you to go buy it. Because you need it. If you are fair, okay? Listen, if you are a fair gal like myself, you need this in your life, okay? She made two other ones for medium and deep complexions. They are beautiful as well. Do not get me wrong. I have the Try highlighter that has like all three in my kit and I use them on my clients and it looks gorgeous but from personal experience you need this I have it in my inner corners right now I'm not even joking look at that pan this is destroyed this is completely destroyed and I don't even care Ofra also I believe updated their packaging since I purchased this um but you need this I'm just gonna say you need it you guys are probably so tired of hearing me talk about this, but I have to mention it because this is favorite products of 2018, and that is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I am now on my second one, and I need to go buy a third, okay? This is the most expensive primer I've ever used. I can justify this purchase because of the fact that my skin looks phenomenal when I wear this. Granted, I have so many different primers for so many different types of the year, and I do mix it up. I don't wear this every day. I try not to because I'm like, Delaney, you need to swim, reach out, branch out. Just go into the other primers. You can do it. Then I always come back because then I look at my makeup pictures and I'm like, and I look at my face that's not holding up after five hours. I'm like, Tatcha wouldn't do me like this. And that is why the silk canvas is my ride or die. 2018 favorite primer. The new setting powder that is my absolute favorite this year is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. I do not get flashback with this. My face stays snatched. It looks so good. Like my skin just looks so like porcelain when I use this. Um, even when I'm having some texture in my skin, it doesn't look cakey. And that's one thing is you want to stay away from things that make you look cakey, and this just makes you look flawless. So this is definitely one of my favorite new setting powders for 2018. And then the one that I've continued to use again and again and again and again is the RCMA Translucent Powder. If you know, you know I put it in this container just because it's easier for me to get out than dumping out the original packaging. So RCMA Translucent Powder, 
you're a ride or die. You never let me down. This is the only like makeup tool that I have in this video and that's because this is just, it's, it's really re-won my heart this year and that is the Beauty Blender. I have about five or six in that container right here um, of the actual Beauty Blenders now. I like the Morphe ones a lot, do not get me wrong, but there's something about the original Beauty Blender that I've just grown to love recently. Um, yes, they are expensive, but I like to tell people you don't need multiple. You just need to wash them. Dawn dish soap, hot water, and your hands. Just get in there. Make sure you get all the soap out. It will look brand new. Honestly, the, the discounted and the other brands' versions of Beauty Blenders are great. I recently have noticed since I put them in my makeup trunk is that they've just been falling apart and the this sponge I've had for like three years now this beauty blender and all I have is a couple rips in the top and I just continue to wash it and sanitize it this I've had for three years okay I've not had any other sponge for this long okay there's just something about it that can tell you that using this almost every day and it lasting three years should just tell you something. So if you have not already, go try the Beauty Blender. If you hate it, you can return it, but I promise you, you will love it. All right, let's do some concealers. Now these two are very, 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 very alike, but very different in one thing, and that is price. You know already, I don't even need to talk about it, Shape Tape by Tarte Concealer unbelievable I have it in shade fair I love it I'm obsessed this has been my favorite concealer since it launched and I think that was maybe I think it's been two years that I've been using this every day when I need that full coverage I am obsessed the one that has won my heart this year is the revolution conceal and define um, concealer this is by makeup revolution I have it in shade C2 because this is the more warm shade more yellow tone this concealer gives me so much payoff okay seven dollars seven dollars you can buy three of them or two of them depending what Ulta coupon they have out and you can get like money off of them so you're literally getting like three of these for the price of one of these so this one's my Tarte this one's my makeup revolution Makeup Revolution's a little darker because they, the shades are just different because obviously it's different brands, but the payoff is the same. They are very, very similar to each other, very similar. And the only thing different is the price. And I love either one of them. Uh, right now I have the Makeup Revolution one on. I do notice the only thing is I sometimes have to go in with a second coat of the Makeup Revolution where I only have to do one of Tarte. But other than that, Pretty much the same payout. My favorite foundation this year, again for like the third year, is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. This is my real shade. This is shade Y215. I was using a shade a little bit darker and I still have that for the summertime. Um, that one I was using for quite some time and then I think they released more shades. Now I use this one and this is pretty much my skin tone. Um, always get great payoff with this it's very full coverage you can build it to what you want it to be or you can just use a little bit and it goes a long way we are coming down the home stretch people I promise next product is Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brown in the shade soft brown I never talk about what I use for my eyebrows because I just figure it is self-explanatory I have everybody ask me, literally the amount of women that ask me if my eyebrows are microbladed. No, girlfriend. It is Anastasia. Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Soft Brown. You probably, if you've already tried it, you already know. If you have tried it and you hate it, you either love this or you hate it. I'm a pomade girl. I'm not a pencil girl. Um, so this is something that... I will always spend the $18, $20 on it, whatever it is. There are less expensive ones out there, but I just truly think that this is amazing. If they dry out a little bit, put a 
like one drop of any makeup face oil in it. I use the Maracuja oil by Tarte. I put a drop or two in it and I take a spatula and I whip it up and it is brand new. So this can last you years. You just have to know how to take care of it. Next product is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mix. I didn't remember what it's called. This is top of my list in setting powders, not setting powders, in setting sprays this year because of the fact that it is so inexpensive. It's seriously so inexpensive and it's the best that I've ever used. The spray, it literally looks like a spray can. Like it's just like the finest mist. My skin never looks like an You can spray this on for like five minutes. And yes, your skin will be wet, but it won't be like that like dripping wet. Like if you spray too much um, Fix Plus on your skin and then you're like, oh my god, my face is soaked. This is like the perfect mist that you just look. Your skin, it, everything just melts together in a good way. So that, again, is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Go pick it up. You will not regret it. We're going to finish with our complexion products. And the next one is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Amber. Update on this. I posted this for the first time on my review about a year and a half ago in the summertime. And I use this every single day. This I use when I just throw concealer and mascara on to go to work I use this every day and I still have that much after a year and a half okay that's impressive people that are my complexion think that the shade amber can sometimes like run a little bit too cool toned I personally like it too cool toned because it really contours me and then I go in and warm it up with bronzer that's a personal preference but I would definitely check out the matchsticks if you have not already because it makes contouring so easy and it's so blendable and it's just so amazing. So go check out, if you have not already, the matchsticks by Fenty, Fenty Beauty. You will not be disappointed. The bronzer by Bobbi Brown is another product that I've used almost every single day this year. I have beat up, this is a sample. I don't know when I got this, but when I first looked at it and picked it up again, I was like, that's gonna be way too dark for me. And then I tried it and it is amazing. Like, it just looks so good. I don't have this one on right now, but this is in the shade Medium 2 Bronzing Powder by Bobbi Brown. Unbelievable, I can't tell you how much the real product is, but once I get a little bit lower in this pan, which will be soon, I'm buying the full size because I, love this bronzer it's great for travel because of the size so i have taken it like everywhere with me this year but other than that the actual product itself in love if you have not already tried a mark jacobs eyeliner i highly highly recommend this is in the shade whirlpool i own i think four of these now they are a little bit expensive but the reason i love them is because they do not fade you get that payoff for almost like the whole day um i also love that you don't have to sharpen them you just twist and then it goes up that i really really enjoy it keeps it clean i don't have to have a sharpener with me when i travel if i need to sharpen it they make it in black oh so i guess i do have five but i never bought the big size of that i've only ever used a sample still i love it um but yeah the color range they have for these products insane love Marc Jacobs and the last two products I'm so sorry we're still here good thing you got a snack right I know you're happy you picked up a snack the Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade always on this is like the perfect nude for me um it looks so good I like the applicator because it's very different it's very unique you can definitely trace your cupid's bow with this. They have so many um, shades in this. They released months ago. They released more nudes 
so it goes from like the lightest complexion to the darkest complexion and there's a great nude for everyone in there I forget how much this is it doesn't look like you get a lot but I promise you it's insane the formula is amazing not too drying it just stays on the lips now always on may not be your shade but I promise you go to your local Sephora swatch these on your hand and find your nude because I promise you will not be disappointed in that formula and last but not least is the Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade uncensored I love this red this is a red that anybody can wear it and you're gonna get a compliment that says wow I love your lipstick the applicator again is so nice it's like the other one where there's something that you can like etch out your cupid's bow with it looks gorgeous on everybody everybody it's a universal red super affordable the formula is amazing you don't have to worry about touching it up like normal red lipstick you know what i mean where you're wearing it you're eating red gets everywhere it's a great formula so if you don't have a red lipstick that you love go check out fenty beauty and that is it if you are still here thank you um i put tons of thought into every single product that i picked out i really hope that you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions about anything let me know like i said i'm going to include everything down below in the description box um can't believe it another year wrapped up right before my freaking eyes this year went so fast. I know I've been really falling behind and every time I say I'm going to get better. Needed a little bit of a break from YouTube. Um, 2018 has been insane to say the least. Like in freaking insane. Um, so I know I haven't been uploading as much. Thank you to the people who have not unsubscribed. Thank you to the people that still watch my videos and comment and like and give me views and do all of that because you are what actually keeps me making videos so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this long ass video if you're going out for new year's eve please 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 be careful if you are over 21 go get yourself some peach barefoot bubbly all right and have a safe and wonderful new year hopefully you're surrounded by friends and family and i will see you all in my next video goodbye everyone